next one. Two people wrote in this past week with the exact same question. So, uh oh, William Harrison, Conspir- conspiracy, conspiracy. Well, maybe it's the same person with two different emails. But William Harrison and Rick and I were both asked this uh, this uh, this week. Uh, I can't remember which version I'm asking, but one uh, one more question. What is Dutch's take on a great worker and shitty human, Bob Sweetan? And then the other one was, do you have any observations or stories about Bob Sweetan? Work promoters blind to what he was doing. Bob Sweetan was only in the business about, or when I got in the business, I think he left. Because I guess when he saw the old cowboy coming in, <laughs> time to get out. Okay, what was he accused of doing? I used to hear this. What was uh, I will what find was he out. accused of doing? I'll find out and I will read it to you verbatim. Okay, this is from Wrestling Observer. In 1990, police found him and arrested him for sexually abusing his daughter when she was 15, as well as non-payment of child support. He pleaded guilty to the sexual abuse in 2000 when he stopped checking in with police. They found him and deported him to Canada, where he lived the past 16 years before dying in 2017. Okay. Well, the Bob Sweetan thing, I kind of knew about it, but kind of didn't when I was around him. He wasn't in the business long after I got in, or he was in a separate territory. But from what I what I gathered, he he abused his daughter, mm-hmm. and and this is this is what you heard at the time, yeah. I didn't hear this at the time. Well, I, well, I thought it was a abusing young girls. Okay, it's what I heard. And I never had a lot of interaction with him because he only really worked about. He, I, I met him in Kansas City, I think. And he was a kind of a different guy, kind of a a, a different uh, individual. He wasn't anything for uh, around me. He wasn't anything for small talk or how you doing or whatever. Yeah, I'd sit down in the dress room and he'd look at me and I'd look at him. That's far as it'd go. Never had any matches with him, nor did I want to have any matches with him. But, uh, and that's about my knowledge of. I believe Jim Ross once called uh, him a miserable human being, so he was never a fan. Oh, he was. Oh, he, just, he would. One day, if he was around him, he was wanting to kill himself. And the next day, uh, he's wanting to kill you. Then the next day, you just wanted to kill yourself being around him all the time. Uh, it, it, was, it was crazy. 